Gather around, young auditors, and let me tell you the tale of the three matches and the four balance sheet assertions. Oh, I love that one. That's a great one. I love that one. Quiet now. It was a scorching summer in the town of Matchville, and I was asked to audit the inventory of the little match factory. Management asserted that they had three matches. The matches existed, were complete. They owned the rights to these matches and that they were valued appropriately. I wasn't so sure, however, so I had to investigate further. First, I started with completeness and asked my brain, Brain, is it possible that they have more than these three matches that I see before me? Sure looks like three matches. Yes, my young auditing friend. But sometimes, sometimes, looks can be deceiving. Can you smell the exhaust from the delivery van that just left the factory carrying matches to a customer? Or can you feel the rumble of a truck that is almost at the receiving dock with a shipment of wood and phosphorus to make the matches? Depending on the shipping terms, these too could be considered inventory of the little match factory. Again, I need to investigate further. What about consignment goods? I got a consignment store! Aye, great point, lass. The little match factory did occasionally consign matches to the local stores, and these matches would need to be included in inventory as well. Now I moved on to my next assertion, existence. Management told me, I tell you, those matches exist. But had they considered Nephew Hudson? But who's Nephew Hudson? Nephew Hudson was an employee of the company and a criminal mastermind. Yeah, yeah, I got your match. I had seen Hudson selling a match on the street that very day. So although management believe they have three matches, really, maybe, they only have two. Management also asserts that they own the rights to these matches. We bought them, we own them, and we can burn them. But management had forgotten that one of the neighboring factories had burnt down. Their friends at that factory asked if they could rent some space to store one of their matches. Although they had three matches in the warehouse, during the inventory count, they really only had the rights to two. Why did the other factory burn down? Some out? say Nephew Hudson did it. Finally, management asserted that the matches were valued properly and could be sold for more than they cost to make. Yep, we can definitely sell them for more than they cost to make. But I had overheard some of the employees talking about matches that had been dropped in the warehouse. And I was at the factory when a toilet overflowed and some of the matches got wet. Broken and wet matches are hard to sell. Had management considered this when assessing valuation? Oh, so management asserted that we own them and they're valued properly. And they assert we have three matches, no more and no less. Exactly. And as the auditor, I had to understand and interpret the evidence to determine whether these assertions were correct. Hey, auditor, what about the ending? The ending to the story? They lived happily ever after, until the big fire. The end. Special thanks to my kids, Stella and Max, for helping me out in this tale. Script and photos were done by me, and the music was performed by Sam's Rotten Pot and Pan Band. That's my band.